Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, Steve, folks, sampler beans, series beans I've been doing for the one hour. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, and folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. It's hot and muggy out, and I don't like it. I just, I don't, and I don't like it. And I think we need to stop. I just, you know, I bring it up every now and again. I think we should just destroy the sun at this point. I think we need to be done with it. It's held us back for too long. Let's uh, let the age of the vampires begin. As I say in my my shitty high school edgelord fucking persona. Anyway, folks, super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yam Ron about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm inside my truck. Whilst I'm inside my truck, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, why I wear super cool shirts? I like to highlight super cool shirt. Super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my Zima Blue shirt. Which, if you are not familiar, uh, Zima Blue is one of the anthology stories that is part of Netflix's animated anthology series called Love, Death, and Robots. I like Love, Death, and Robots a lot. I think that, at minimum, even like the worst ones, the ones I'm not that into, are still really entertaining. And the best ones are like just really great and really grip me and I just really like this one I love the visual style of it it was just it was very reminiscent of kind of like almost like a mix between like 90s MTV animation style like sort of Aeon Flux and almost like an art deco kind of thing and I just I think it's super fucking cool but anyway the fuck am I reviewing folks what are we doing here well I just got through reviewing boom Snickers Rockin' Nut Road, which, go watch that video. And that, oddly enough, wasn't the only Snickers that they had available there. Not even the uh, only one that's based after an ice cream. Because we got, boom, it is Snickers Butterscotch Scoop Candy Bar. Ooh, ah, can we get a thing? Ah, sure. I actually saw this one before I saw the other one. It's much smaller. The other one, you got four nuggets. This one, you only get two nuggets because we live in a universe where we can't just have candy bars anymore. Let's just try the thing. Let's just try the thing. It looks like this. It's definitely a milk chocolate compared to the other one. It's, it's too sticky. Um. Ooh. Ooh, that is a strong butterscotch flavor. Yes, to read Bobberoonie. I am, I am down with that. Although I do think it's funny that they have to go over there, like they're like, oh, it's artificial flavor, see? Why? <laughs> like butterscotch is something I imagine you could just put in there, like, it's just sugar and shit, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm just a guy who reviews shit on the internet. What the fuck do I know? Um, I like that, man. I can see why they only give you two, though. Because that is some rich shit right there. Now, here's the thing. Butterscotch. Very divisive flavor. Caramel, most people like. I found. Butterscotch. That shit will get you into a fist fight if you pick the wrong side in that particular argument. I've always been partial to butterscotch. It's not something I go out of my way to enjoy. But when it's off, but when it's offered, I like it. It's very sweet. It's very rich. It also has something of an offset kind of bitterness to it, um, which is interesting because with the Rock and Road one, they used a dark chocolate for it. This one they used a milk chocolate, which is sweeter. So they decided to go over there. With the other one, it had a contrast to the flavors because you had the somewhat bitterness of the uh, of the dark chocolate against like the sweetness of the marshmallow filling with this one it's kind of the opposite you've got the somewhat bitter aspect of the butterscotch against the more sweet aspect of the milk chocolate so it's interesting how they decided you know like it showcases the fact that like they're really thinking about these things um now i like this i think it's good it is a lot of butterscotch flavor like it is a punch to the fucking face. I will say, though, it is definitely like an artificial butterscotch flavor. 
it doesn't have going back in time here folks back when i back when i was a lad and i'm sure they're still available to this day and i'm sure some people are gonna know exactly what i'm talking about those little butterscotch candies yeah the, the little sort of like almost wannabe werther's originals but like you know that you'd get for like a penny instead of like the actual werther's because you know they were some some good shit uh those little freaking yellow discs with the the golden paper and everything not even golden sort of like yellowish orange and it's plastic, not paper. Uh, it doesn't have that type of butterscotch flavor. Because that, like, it had good butterscotch flavor, from what I remember. But it was... It was a more of a mellow, more fulfilling experience. This is definitely butterscotch that is designed to punch. It is there to punch your flavor buds, or taste buds, uh, right as soon as you bite into it. And to that end, it does a really good job. But, it works sort of two effects. Because for one, like I said, if you don't like butterscotch, you're not going to be down with this. Number two, although I do like butterscotch and I do enjoy this, it does make me reminiscent for that more mellow butterscotch flavor, that more fulfilling butterscotch flavor. Because it, you know, it's, it's not just designed in a lab to just be like, ah, just fuck you and just curb stomping your taste buds. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of curb stomping, just because, you know, that came up and how often does it come up. If you ever want to see a good movie with some curb stomping in it, and I know you're going to think American History X, and I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. There's a movie called Avengement. Uh, I believe that's the name of it. Starring Scott Atkins that came out a few years ago. Excellent movie. He, he had to bite the curb in that movie. <laughs> but anyway, no, I really enjoy this. I, I do. It's, but again, very rich. Very rich, very sweet. Not something I would want a lot of. Now, all that said, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Boom! Yes, kind of. I could see grabbing this. I'm sure this is going to be a limited time item. I could see grabbing this every now and again, but it would definitely be like a rare occasion thing. Like just when I really had a taste and was like, I need some butterscotch in my life. That's when I would go for this. It would not be a casual candy bar for me, just because it is so punchy. Um, recommending it entirely depends on if you like butterscotch or not. If you like butterscotch, I'd say absolutely give it a go. I think you'll get a kick out of it, even if, again, I don't think it's the most fulfilling butterscotch flavor profile available. Um, I do think it's good, and, you know, I, I like I said, I enjoyed it. Um... But yeah, if you're not into butterscotch, clearly don't go in for this one. It's, it's like I said, it's a heavy butterscotch flavor. Unless you just want to try it, in which case, just try it. I don't give a damn. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of the day, spectacular rest of the week, monumental rest of the month, spend rest of the year. Folks, you can go over there, have yourselves a truly butterscotch-tastic rest of your life. Which, I mean, yeah, like, it's not for everybody, but then you don't have to be for everybody. You know, it's like that whole thing. You know, you can't please everybody all the time, and you shouldn't even try, realistically. You know, don't be a dickhead, but... By that same token, folks, you go over there, try to be cool with the folks around you, you know, but don't don't lose yourself in the process. Go away. Uh, anyway, final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. You're just going to do, folks, you're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole, especially if you're Scott Atkins, you're getting curb stomped in movies where you get betrayed by people. That's it's all about revenge, because, you know, martial arts movies work best when they're about revenge. Uh, most of the time. Most of the time. Um, you know, but it's important when you run into situations that are stressful, frustrating, etc. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to try yourself out some butterscotch Snickers as I've done here today. And, you know, maybe like me, you're going to be like, it's all right, I like this, pretty good, I enjoyed it. But then, instead, you're going to go out, you're going to watch some Avengement starring Scott Atkins. Now, that's a weird flex, you know, and it's like, where does that come from, Brandon? You being sponsored by Scott Atkins and his movies? No, I'd fucking love to be, though. That would be ball as shit. I don't even fight. It doesn't even have to pay me. Just send me a movie every now and again or some shit. You know, like just advanced copy. Um, 
<laughs> Let me take a couple pictures with him or something. No, man, I just, you know what? It just it popped in my head, and I like that movie a lot. And I love martial arts movies. If for whatever reason you're ever interested in my opinions on martial arts movies, I got plenty of them. Uh, or conversely, yeah, you don't have to watch Avengement. You can watch whatever you want. Go watch Avengement. It's a good movie. Bye.